Okay, I started making my buckskin leggings. I, this was, the, the initially, the, the first part about this was a pain in the ass. Um, this right here is for my right leg. I had to lay it out on my lap, on the floor, or sitting, and I had to cut along here to measure out my ankle. So that's where, that's going to be where my feet is. And up here, when, this, when I'm done sewing it, I got to cut it out along here so that it fits um, along the middle of my thigh. That's as high as it'll go. Um, and this, uh, what I had, I mean, I had to use a special pair of scissors called skin shearing scissors. These things are not cheap. They cost about 25 bucks. Um, they're not cheap at all. Just say, I mean, just like my leather hole puncher is also not easy to acquire. When you're actually working with actual animal skin, it's hard because it's tough. So, when I'm done, the fr oh, if there's enough room for fringe, I would be cutting along here, little tiny little fringe, and fringe and um, fringe is that little is that is that little la is a little uh, lacy things that you see along the men's leggings, are the little stringy things you see along the sides of a, um, of regalia uh, of a regalia. You see, what you don't know is that what looks like buckskin pants they're not actual pants they're actual Im individual leg straps that go up um, each of each of the legs now at powwows I'd, I'd be wearing a pair of basketball shorts or boxers or boxer briefs underneath because there is a rule at powwows that you're required to wear shorts underneath your regalia traditionally what men wear is an underwrap but that's i mean an underwrap and what's known as a junk sack well we call it a junk sack but there's another name for it um I don't have to explain to you what that is. We are we we already got that part. Um, this is gonna initially take me about four or five days to complete because I'm gonna need the help of my friend who's a lot more experienced at this than I am. Some of the, there are some things on this that require two people. And this one is for the left leg. I had to first I did the left leg, then I did the right leg. And as you see, I had to measure and draw a line along to measure it out along the crease of what of what my leg is shaped is. So basically, initially, oh, yeah. that's that that little that spiraling thing is what the muscles in my leg are shaped like when I'm laid out flat. However, the upside to that is that when it's done, it'll be it'll be flipped over like so, and. Hopefully, if there's not enough room for fringe, okay, but if there is, I could sit there and cut some fringe out on this. And I also have to use <laughs> this, a leather crafting kit. This has a bunch of different tools that I'm still now learning how to use. And hopefully I'll be able to do this efficiently and not it won't take me, take me too long. Um... The next video you see me, uh, you see, uh, you will see me having some results where I will have some holes punched in that, where I will have, you know, the basic rudimentary process done. But yeah, for me to fire dance at powwows, I was told I have to have buckskin regalia on the lower half of my body, at least if nothing else, because buckskin is is initially leather, and leather doesn't catch on fire as easy.